Hello, hello, my heathens. Welcome back to another vlog, another headless vlog in my kitchenette. Today is going to be a busy one. I mean, I know they're always busy, but today is going to be especially busy because I'm going to be pulling double duty for both this channel slash brand. I, I hesitate calling my personal illustrations a brand, but for the sake of differentiation, we'll call it a brand. So I'm going to be doing work for this as well as, well, technically I already started. I started early this morning with Cat Eyes and Cacti, filmed a little bit of the vlog, and I packaged orders for that. And I'm still not done with all of the work that I need to do for Cat Eyes and Cacti today. By the way, if you are not aware, I do have another channel for that brand, Cat Eyes and Cacti. So if you're interested in more vlogs and Palm Springs views, by all means, go subscribe, follow me on Instagram, do all of that good stuff. Now, as far as this channel is concerned, I have a good chunk of shop orders. So thank you everyone who has ordered in the past week. I have shop orders to package and to label. I have some fresh new miniatures to work on. I'm trying to keep up with my, if you watch my gold video, that I posted um, a few weeks back at this point, I mentioned that I wanted to have a fresh stock, a nice healthy fresh crop of um, originals available in my shop at all times. So I've, I've been good. I've been good about keeping up with having at least 20 originals in the shop. So I'm going to be working on a few more today and then I have my secret project that I can't talk about, two of them that I'm going to be working on today. And I will also be doing sketching today. But sketching, I never feel comfortable filling, or filming, I should say, filming the sketching portion of my artwork, meaning the actual, just the pencil preliminary sketches. That to me is just too personal, too raw, too, it's not as though I'm hiding anything and I'm vulnerable. It's not that, I clearly, <laughs> clearly I'm not about hiding anything. But I just feel at that stage, it's just a lot of, um, manic energy in some cases and in other cases just a lot of me sitting there going mm, I don't really like this let me change this let me change it's just a lot of stop and go stop and go so I don't like to film that portion but I am going to be doing some sketching for yet another project um, yeah, are we double fisting yeah we're double fisting because busy girl busy girl black coffee Earl Grey you know it should we just mm, double dip it once tastes like poison don't do that Woo. but we, we are working, we are working today. And to get in the mood, to get in my power woman mood, I've been listening to 80s music all day. And although I'm not wearing shoulder pads, I'm clear, the antithesis of shoulder pads right here. My fragrance of the day, Diva by Ungaro. This, do not buy this, don't buy this. This is for a very specific individual. If you were around in the early 80s, which I was not, but I love the 80s. If you're around in the early 80s, you know the smell. You know the scent of the 80s power suit lady, right? The shoulder pads, the giant accessories, the 20 pound brick cell phone, that bitch. This fragrance is very much that bitch. All glass. The cap is glass, the bottle is glass. They just don't make the bottles like this anymore, right? This is this cool art deco by way of the 1980s kind of a look, right? This stinks. <laughs> She's stanky. She smelled like your grandma. Or if you were around in the 80s, she kind of, she might smell like you, right? It's, it's a good smell. But again, not modern, not modern at all. I don't want anybody to run out and buy it and then blame me for smelling like the inside of their grandmother's purse. But I'm very much into immersion, escapism. And today I am in go, go, go mode with the 80s playing. And I just want to feel like a powerful 80s power suit lady. Okay, no more talking. Let's go get to work. Was that bothering anyone? I bumped it prior to my filming and I hadn't realized that it was askew. <laughs> it's kind of fixed now. I mean, this candle's already a little bit wonky, but I know just in case, in case anybody was noticing going, oh my God, does she really burn crooked candles? No, I don't. I promise you, I make sure that they're upright. Safety first, children, safety first. Thank you. 
There is the purple male and the cat eyes and cacti male. The envelopes, as you can see, are brown or tan, I guess, and then the packages are this fun bright orange. Both the bright orange and the brown look super cute with the green tissue paper that I use. The brand colors for cat eyes and cacti, the two primary colors are orange and green. So there you go. Desk view, desk view. Would you all like to get a little peeky peek at what I'm up to? So I sat down today to do some light sketching. And I have this little lady, this little spooky, sassy cemetery creature that I started. And then, as you can tell, I jump around in my sketchbook. I just open it up to a page and work. I never work chronologically. I think I've mentioned that before. And it's just, um, the reason that I do that is simply because it's less pressure to complete the page and I feel less inadequate. <laughs> if I fill out, you know, five pages from the front, the middle and the back, and then fill them all in, it just feels a little bit more productive in my brain psychology. It's ridiculous. Uh, my brain psychology anyway. So I was working on that and then it occurred to me that Halloween is upon us. And with Halloween comes hashtag Carloween. And if you are unfamiliar with what Carloween is, Carloween is a month long coloring party that was started by Kate. It was started by a few different people, but Kate is the one who is just taking control of everything. She is the boss lady. And she hosts this coloring party over on Instagram and on Facebook in the Facebook coloring group. Go follow her. Her name is Kate of Kate's Coloring Haven. And she is British, so it is coloring C-O-L-O-U-R, not O-R, O-U-R. So Kate's Coloring Haven, as I mentioned, she's on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, YouTube. Well, she started it, and what people do is they pick pages from any of my books, any of them whatsoever, and they just color them, and they use the hashtag throughout the month of October. What I started doing a couple years ago was creating an exclusive Carloween coloring page for everyone, not just for patrons, but for everyone. So I have that available on my website to download, and I was sitting down to get it started today, and I don't know 
what I'm going to do because I want to release a Halloween themed coloring page for my patrons, but I also want to do a coloring page, Carloween coloring page for everyone. And I don't know which one I'm going to keep as my Patreon exclusive. I think this one will likely be the Patreon exclusive. I just love, the, I love her posture. I just love how she's standing. <laughs> and this one will be a bit more pumpkin-y, Halloween-y, less cemetery spooky. Maybe? I'll, I'll have to ask my patrons. Once they're both a little bit more finished in terms of a sketch, I will let them decide. But one of these will be a Patreon exclusive and the other one is going to be the freebie that's available for whoever wants to participate in Carloween. So that's what I'm up to right now. And as I was doing that, well, let me give you a peek at some of the minis that are currently in progress. They're all in the ugly stage. As you guys know, my artwork begins in... A good looking stage then it goes through the first few stages of layering which is the ugly stage and then at the very end is when everything coalesces and looks beautiful right so we're in the ugly stage of a few new minis you will be seeing those in an upcoming vlog and shop update but something came in the mail today is this a marker bag why well, yes it is a marker bag your girl has decided to purchase a set of Ohuhu markers. Her first Ohuhu markers. You guys know how much I love cheap alcohol markers. Now, I love them, but I hate that they cannot be replaced. Now, I purchased these, and I will have them linked down below if you are curious, but these are pastel Ohuhu markers. Product reviews on the internet simply cannot be trusted most of the time because a lot of people were crying and complaining, belly aching, bitching, bemoaning, saying that they didn't think these were pastel enough. I think these are plenty pastel enough. And I went ahead and I did some swatches. These are the markers that I was sent in PR a while back. These are the uh, chalky crowns. And you can see their range of pastels was terrible, which is fine. Their brights are great, and it's just a scratch sheet. Here are the pastel ohuhus. Now, do you see the difference between what a standard marker set and a pastel looks like? Why are people complaining saying these are not pastel enough? I think they're great. So I will be using these exclusively on pastel pages because I've been telling you guys that I've been going through my Cali Art markers, and I'm trying to use every single one of those up every single one of my Cali Arts before I break into this set. The Cali Arts are starting to dwindle down, which is great, but I still have a lot of those left. But I want to start experimenting with all pastel pages. So I'm going to be working on some color and chats that are just pastel, so that will be super fun, I think. So I hope you guys are looking forward to those. Um, I purchased these for around $26. They were $25 and change. I will link them down below if you are interested. Um, if not, you can, um, there's tons of other reviews online. So you can watch other reviews or you can wait for my color in chat and you can make your purchase then. But I'm excited. So that's what we did. That's what we did this afternoon and that's what we will continue to do. More sketching, a little bit more work on the minis and that will probably be it because we gotta take it easy on my busted wrist. Let's carry on with the vlog. Actually, let us not continue on with the vlog. I'm going to end this one here, so thank you so much for joining me for another little romp in Carla Land. Ew. Never mind. Scratch that. Not Carla Land. That sounds too much like Disneyland, and ew. We don't, we don't like the Disney around here. I enjoy theme parks, and I do enjoy Disneyland, but ew. Let's yell Disney. <laughs> okay. Let's end the vlog. If you can tell, I'm a little flustered. I'm a little just all over the place. I will return to my desk, to my regularly scheduled programming within the next couple of days. So more vlogs, more color and chats, more videos will be coming. So pardon this rather abrupt ending to this vlog. I will see you again soon. Go join me on my socials. Let's play. I'll see you in the next one.